I have once said, I don't know whether you have, you have heard me say this before, that I am pretty much like a modern day Robin Hood. I serve the rich and I give to the poor. The things I charge for, I charge so well for them. So that I can be available to do the things that I don't want to charge for. You cannot give what you don't have. If your career line does not profit you, it will be difficult for you to make an impact. So you must find profit in your career. It's not enough for you to know how to speak. You must know how to speak somewhere in a way that they will pay you what you would like to earn so that you can go and speak in other places that they cannot pay you for free. There is a place within your career line that serves as an income flow. There is another area in your career line that serves as an impact flow. Speaker's Corner is an impact flow. When I go into the banking sector, that's an income flow. Does it mean I don't make impact there? Of course I will. If not, the income will stop. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Find an income flow so that your impact can constantly flow. Does anybody understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Have you gotten something this morning? Yes, sir. Today is career day. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. None of you will leave this place without finding your career today. Listen, anybody can speak as long as you have a message. We will need speakers in medicine. We will need speakers in sports. You will need motivational speakers in every sphere of life. Everyone. So being a motivational speaker is like knowing how to use a computer. That you know how to use a computer does not mean that you can make money from it. You must know what to do with the computer. Do you understand? This thing is called mouth top. There is laptop, desktop, and mouth talk. You understand what I'm saying? You must learn how to use your mouth top to create wealth. Don't just say I'm a motivational speaker. What are you speaking? Who are you motivating? What is your message? That you are a motivational speaker does not mean you cannot be a doctor. Cannot, it doesn't mean you cannot be a makeup artist. My wife today has become a great motivational speaker. Her speaking engagements in every month today are closing in on my own. And I'm glad for it. Because I, I told her for many years, you, you know that you have a message for this. She says, leave me, leave me, leave me, leave me. Leave me. No, let me just focus on this, my makeup. That's what God sent me. I said, me, I'm telling you, God sent you also to this one. Then she found it in her own time. But guess what? If she had not excelled in makeup, would she have any message? You cannot give what you don't have. What do you have? You want to teach people about, about academic excellence, you have never scored a, a, an A, a B, or a C before. And you want to teach academic excellence? Then you say, Professor, something, something said. This one, this one said. That one said. Everybody said. What are you saying? What are you saying? Don't be a tape recorder. Be a speaker. A tape recorder plays what everybody else is saying. Yeah? If you put the CD in, R. Kelly will say something. If you take that one out, put another CD in, eh? it's uh, Bobby Brown. If you take that one out, you put another one, it is uh, C.C. Winers. That, that, a tape recorder only plays what others say. doesn't say anything in its own. Do you understand? Tell somebody, don't be a tape recorder. Don't be a CD player. Don't be a gramophone. Don't even be a radio. Say something. But more than anything else, let your life say something. People don't believe what you say, but they believe what you do. Let your life say something. 
Excel in an area so that you can have something to say. Now please listen to me. I didn't say get to the top yet. I just said excel. So at every level that you are, you have the opportunity to excel at that level. Are you a student? Be the best student. Are you a youth copper? Be the best youth copper. Are you a receptionist in the office? Be the best receptionist that anybody has seen. So that you can have something to say. Do you understand what I'm saying? At your level, there is a best. Write it down. At my current level, there is a best. I must become it. I must become it. And as my level changes, I become the best again. Then my level changes, then I become the best again. At your level today, where you are right now, there is a best possible. Be it. Does anybody understand it? The next level for Speaker's Corner is that by the special grace of God, we are going to develop the academy aspect of speaking. So that by the special grace of God, within the next one month, we will try to see how our website will come up. And then we will be having topics on the website so that you will know what we are going to be dealing with in December from today. And we will start to get speakers in the line of topics to come in and speak to you. So that from this second year, over the next 12 months, we want to begin to award certificates. I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. So for those that have come for a particular number, you know, if you, if you haven't made, say for instance, 70 or 80 percent, we will work it out. If you haven't made 70 or 80 percent, you cannot get a particular kind of certificate. The more you come, the more the things that you are satisfied to have gone through. I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. And then we are going to be able to do what you call certificates of participation. So that online, we will send you your certificate. Right? You will get it online and then you can go and print it. Okay? But it will be done, printed, signed and all of that. Alright? Does anybody want, is anybody excited about that? Okay? So that, so that you should be able to have something to show that you have been coming here. Anybody would like that? I wanted to read something to you before I just invite Mrs. Adeni Taiwo. I sent a similar message to a few people. And this is not need really to, to say in any way that everybody has not done, done so. It's just because I think I was almost running literally in my mind. I said, gosh, the text message itself was six text messages long. So I sent a text message, I think, to about three people. I think it was and I just want them to come up so that we can give them a stand innovation but there are many more people that deserve this so I'm going to try and find out how to recognize every single person over the next one year but for today I sent a message to Oladile Olunike to Harry Steve and to Carol would you like to hear what the message said? And each one of them had a different aspect to their message. But the broad, the broad message was, was the same. Right? I think Carol's was the last one that I sent. So let me read Carol's on to you. Carol, could you please come up? Did you get the message? I did. Okay. Well, I just said to Carol, I said, Olu Carol, I call everybody Olu something. Okay? So, and no matter what your name is, even if your name is Ade something, my own is Olu. I cannot put Ade behind it. But. So I said, Olu Karo, it seemed like the proverbial yesterday that we got together to start Speaker's Corner, but that yesterday was August 2005. And I said, by his faithfulness and most special grace, Baba 
has kept this baby in our abasing and abounding hands to be alive and well to be two years. I said, Baba is worthy of all praise. Yet, I must also add that many times I had given up on this baby. A few times, I had not even physically been there to nurture it. I have been like a busy absentee father. But you, Carol, Harris, please come up. But I said, but you, Harris, or most importantly, I said, but you, Bishop, said you were always there for speaker's corner to Caro I had added you always did this more than just a business transaction it was never just a business transaction there were months that we did not have a cobble to run speaker's corner but you will never know because all of Carol's equipment will still be here. There was one particular month, three weeks after we had run Speaker's Corner, we still couldn't give him his money. And he was already preparing his equipment to bring it for the next week. He didn't say until you pay me last one before I can bring it this time. I don't know whether you understand. But as God will have it, not only did we give him the last month's own, but we, I believe we now gave you that month that month's only in advance. 